Each climatic change poses a risk for humans and nature. But how big is the risk? How can it be assessed? Now this is important because if you can assess the risk, you can decide how and when to act. Hermann Lotze Kampen explains this and the definition of risk in climate research terms as opposed to lay terms. The concept of risk is increasingly taking center stage in the assessment of climate impacts. The IPCC has made the risk assessment and risk management perspectives central to its fifth assessment report. There are of course various definitions of risk in different areas and disciplines. The IPCC assessment report presents the interaction between climate change and socioeconomic processes quite clearly, for example through changes in economic or political conditions. These two sides are in close interaction with each other. But of course the different climate impacts interact as well. Human society being affected by these climate impacts has to be one focus. In its assessment report, the IPCC has outlined three aspects that illustrate the concept of risk and the expected risk change for the people affected. First, there is the hazard aspect. A related question that arises is, do certain climate changes occur at all? For example, is there a drought or a heat wave in a specific region? Second, there is the exposure aspect. The related question is, are people affected by this event at all? Third, there is the vulnerability aspect. The related question is, to what extent are people in a certain region affected by and vulnerable to a climate event? And what options do they have to adapt to this change? The risk associated with various climate impacts entirely depends on social conditions of the affected people. The same level of flooding affects a person in Bangladesh quite differently compared to a person in northern Germany, for example. Vulnerability is higher in poorer countries and thus increases the risk associated with the impacts of a specific climate or weather event. Now, this perspective of risk management can be useful for political and economic decision makers too. We already see that our research findings are being used by reinsurers to better estimate future damages. These results can also be used in economic sectors that develop technological solutions for adaptation to climate impacts.